In this video, I'll show you how to use Clownfish on Discord. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end of the full steps. And let's get right into this. The first thing you need to do to use Clownfish on Discord is to go and download it. So if you've already got Clownfish installed, then make sure you go and skip this part of the video and then I'll show you what to do after you've gone and installed it. So if you haven't already got it installed, then all you need to do is open your browser and go to a search engine such as Google. And then all you need to do is go and search for Clownfish Voice Changer, just like so, and click on it. And then all you want to do is make sure you come to the official website, which is clownfish-translator.com. Click it here and it looks just like this. And then once you're here, all you need to do is come to the top navigation bar at the top of the screen and go and press on download. And this is gonna take you to the download page and there's quite a few different options. But all you want to do is go and get the 64 bit version. So press on download and it's gonna go and drop the download. Now every browser is slightly different. So it's unlikely that yours may appear here if you're not using Chrome, um, but you can always find your downloads in your downloads folder in your file explorer. So go and open up your file explorer and go and find the installer. And then once you found it, all you want to do is go and double click on it. So I'm gonna go and drag mine onto my desktop and then we'll go and install it. So here we have the install file. So all you need to do is go and double click on it just like so. And you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go record that. I just get a black screen. And then here we are on the setup wizard. So all you need to do is go and tap on next. Then you've got a few options here. I'm gonna keep them thick, then press next. You can choose where you want it to be installed. I'll click next there. And then it's gonna go and install it. And you need to go and press install. And while Clownfish is installing, you're going to go and get this terminal pop up here saying it's going to go and stop the Windows audio service and it's going to go and restart it essentially. And you need to go and confirm this, but it's just going to note that I'm going to have to stop recording um, because I can't record my mic while it's doing this. So if you agree, all you need to do is press Y and then go and press enter. And then it's automatically going to go and restart and the installation will be complete and it will say complete there. So go and press next and then press finish. And there you go. You've now gone and installed Clownfish. So if you've already got Clownfish, you'll probably want to stop watching the tutorial from here. So the next thing you want to do is go and open Clownfish up. So I'm going to go and double click on the desktop icon, or you can just go and search for it here. So what you need to do is come to the bottom right of your computer and go and find Clownfish. So it's either going to be in this toolbar here, or you may need to go and click on the hidden icons button here, and then it's going to go and appear here. So right click on it, and then what you need to go and do is go and press on setup, and then system integration. And we're going to go and get this panel here. I'll go and zoom in on it. And then what you need to do is go and make sure the right microphone is selected that you want to go and use the voice changer on. In this case, it's already got mine right. It's the microphone USB PMP sound device, um, but you may have a different one. And if there is a different one, all you need to do is press remove and then install it to the one you want. But what's important is that you note down which microphone it's installed on because you need to make sure you're using that microphone in Discord. So I'm gonna note that down and now we need to go and open up Discord. Then once you're in Discord, go to the bottom left and go and press on the user settings just here. And then come on to the left hand side and you need to go and scroll down and under app settings, you need to go and press on voice and video. And then here you want to go and click on input device. As you can see, I'm using the same microphone as I'm using Clownfish. It's the microphone USB PMP sound device. Um, but if you're using a different one, then I recommend selecting it. So it might be on default or something like that, but make sure the right microphone is selected. And that just means when you go and apply an effect, it's actually gonna be used inside of Discord. So now all you need to do is go and join a call. So I might just go and join a voice channel, for example, just like so. And now we can go and apply some effects. So all you need to do is go and press on the show hidden icons button once again, and we can right click on Clownfish then go and click set voice changer, and then we can go and choose an effect. I'm going to go and choose the helium pitch, so I'm gonna go and tap on it, just like so, and as you can hear, my voice has now got the helium effect applied, and that means it's gonna be applied inside of Discord as well, in voice channels, and other calls as well. And of course, you can go and use other effects, you can edit the pitch, um, and then at the bottom, you've got microphone settings as well. And then when you want to go and turn it off, all you need to do is go and press on clear effect, and now my voice is back to normal. And that's exactly how you can go and use Clownfish in Discord. The main thing is, is that you're using the same microphone for Clownfish and Discord. Otherwise the effects are not gonna be applied when you go and select one. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more, peace.